Today's the day. So that's me, Chris, and that's my girlfriend, Danielle, and we're on our way to fulfill a childhood dream of mine. Let me explain. There are two things you need to know about me. Number one, my favourite animal is the tapir. What's a tapir? I think it's a tapir. It's more like a tapir. Tapirs are these large herbivores found mainly in South America, but with a black and white one from Southeast Asia. They love to swim, and they use their snout like a snorkel when underwater. And if you think adult tapirs are cool, just wait until you see what a baby one looks like. Imagine if a watermelon just one day grew a set of legs, and then a head, and then it turned brown. Well, that's pretty much a baby tapir, perhaps the cutest animal known to man. In fact, if you look up cute in an English dictionary, you'll even find a picture of one. And number two, there's this dial in everyone's brain that determines how interested they are in a particular thing. Now, normally it sits somewhere between indifferent and having a healthy interest. Well, mine seems to be stuck at the extremes. I'm either completely uninterested in something or completely obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with running. I'm obsessed with music. I'm obsessed with Tom Hanks. And you guessed it, I am completely obsessed with tapirs. Which is why today is such a big deal for me. So we're on our way down to Paynton Zoo because we're going in with the tapirs. Here we go then, paint and zoo. Our time slot wasn't until the afternoon, so we had a chance to see the rest of the animals first. We saw gorillas, We saw the meerkats and we even got to see another of my favourites, the echidna. Echidnas are this really unusual type of animal called a monotreme. This means that even though they're mammals, they lay eggs. And I'd never actually seen an echidna in person before, so it's nice to see one so up close and being this active. We shared our lunch with the peacock, and then it was almost time for the tapirs. So these are the tapirs, and in about 10 minutes time we're going to be going in with them. There were two tapirs, Dexter and Mish. Dexter was born at the zoo in 2012. He was so cute it even made the news. And this is David the capybara. He shares their enclosure. The zoo does have other capybaras, but apparently David's a bit grumpy and prefers to be on his own. A couple of minutes before we were due to start, Mish decided that now would be a good time to have a swim. <laughs> the water makes it look like they've got these tiny little legs. Now I don't want you to think I'm being overly dramatic or sentimental. This really is a childhood dream for me. As a kid, I had tapir everything. T-shirts, books, cuddly toys, figurines, basically anything I could find with a tapir on it. My parents even bought me some tapir stamps. 
quite a lot of them actually. And then for my birthday in 2007, I adopted the tapirs at London Zoo. It's now 10 years later and I'm about to go in with them. Filthy, wash them. Put the camera down. Today I'd fulfilled a childhood dream, something I've wanted to do since I was 10 years old. It was amazing, and we'd even had the perfect summer's day to do it on. And like all good summer days, it ended with a thunderstorm. That's the sound of the alarm going off. We were staying in a cottage down near the zoo and we had no idea how to stop it. But then the power went out anyway. Oh, this is really creepy. I think it's just the power going on and off. Put it back on the sky. 
and that's when it got really heavy. <laughs> this is the best thunderstorm I've ever been in. It had been a day of extremes, and now it was time to get some sleep.